Hey everyone, Dr. Dale here real quick, and I'm sure everyone's heard that the flu vaccine this year didn't work. CDC admits that. But I want to show you how the CDC is actually giving you deadly advice now. See, the article I have in my hand, December 3rd, says doctors need to be prepared with antiviral medications such as Tamiflu. Here's the problem with that. Go back almost two weeks earlier, in November 13th of 2014, this year, you have big pharma plays hide the ball with data. They actually report in this article on Newsweek, the cover magazine, the cover page, you'll see it here, a skull and crossbones of drugs. Why? Because what they report is the drug has no benefit whatsoever. It was brought to market by drug companies lying about it. Then they find out that the drug actually causes psychiatric disorders, causing a 14-year-old who took Tamiflu to jump off a balcony and a 17-year-old who took the drug, ran in front of a truck, and another one with a psychiatric disorder, an eight-year-old boy who wouldn't answer to his name and began growling at people. You know what? In my mind, this right here is a drug that separates the mind from reality, and that right there is pharmacaea. It's where we get the root terms, or the, uh, the terms pharmaceuticals, pharmacy, uh, drugs. It's Greek for witchcraft. This is nothing short of witchcraft. Because we understand, as Christians, that if we take a drug that separates our mind from reality, then we have no clue what we're capable of doing. And that's why a child would do something as drastic as jump in front of a truck to take their own life. Well, going on, I'm somebody who saves a lot of information. And I got a lot of articles on this. And when I read that, I'm like sitting here thinking, thank God the word is finally getting out that drug companies lie and that this drug is costing people's lives. But then two weeks later, the CDC comes out and says we need to be prepared to give the drug to children. I'm like, what? Are you kidding me? Well, here's, watch this. Let's go back in time. Let's go back to 2009 major flu strain found resistant to drug. This comes out of the New York Times. And they say it's puzzling scientists. I wonder why it's puzzling scientists. Well, if you go to Newsweek, they say that concealing trial data is routine. Again, the drug companies lied to bring it to market. No wonder it puzzled scientists. They didn't see the full picture. They didn't see that the drug didn't work. Going on, 2009, they say that the drug is a danger to children. So back. Swine flu drug Tamiflu, a danger to children because it causes increases in vomiting. What's the whole, what's one of the complications of catching the flu? Vomiting and diarrhea and dehydration. That can send children to the hospital. And now they actually find out that the side effects are increased and the complications are increased due to the drug. That's back in 2009. Going on here. 2012, the British Medical Journal actually called for, for uh, countries, countries to sue the makers of Tamiflu, to sue Roche for lying. Because what they say here is they said that governments have needlessly stockpiled and spent billions of dollars stockpiling the drug in 2009, the swine flu scare. They stockpiled that drug using, get this, using our, uh, our taxpayer money, my money, your money to stockpile a drug that the drug company knew didn't work but got it approved with lies. You know, in my mind, I'm like, you know what? The doctors in the pharmacies shouldn't be able to sell you this drug even if it worked. They shouldn't be able to sell you the drug. Why? Because it was our money that paid for it in the first place. Anyways, side note, going on here. 2012, watch this. History repeats itself. 2012, they say that the drug makers should be sued for lying. Meanwhile, a month later, December 21st of that same year, the FDA approved the drug for children under the age of one. Wait, didn't they read back in 2009 that the drug was a danger to children? What is going on here? That's, that's all I can say. I look at this type of information and the only reason I rant here is because I wonder how many more people are gonna die. How many more children are going to have psychiatric conditions and episodes, commit suicide? I don't want to see that happen. And I hope that this information right here helps you see that, you know what? I don't need that drug. I'll let my body fight off the cold. So all said and done, I hope you're blessed with this information.